A surprise development in Parliament today as Free National Movement parliamentarians decide to pursue a no-confidence vote asking that their leader, Dr. Hubert Minnis, be replaced. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keishla Adderley. And I'm Charisma Robinson. It was the second letter drafted to oust Minnis. The first was written earlier this year with the exception of Key in support, but was never delivered. Now tonight, Arjuna Noel Ferguson has details of what transpired in Parliament today. FNM leader Dr. Hubert Minnis could be removed as leader of the opposition if seven members of the Free National Movement have their way. Now, they wrote a letter to the Governor General to have his post revoked. That letter was read in Parliament today by House Speaker Dr. Kendall Major. An opposition leader may continue to serve in this position only if he or she enjoys the confidence of his or her colleagues in the House. That being the case, we respectfully ask you to revoke the appointment of Dr. Hubert A. Minnis as leader of the opposition in accordance with Article 82, subsection 4 of our Constitution. A coup now formally established by seven sitting Free National Movement members to oust Dr. Hubert Minnis as leader of the opposition. The letter was signed by Nico Grant, Loretta Butler-Turner, Hubert Chipman, Richard Lightbourne, Theo Neely, Dr. Andre Rollins, and Edison Key. House Speaker Dr. Kendall Major read the contents of that letter revealing that the seven, not including Bamboo Town MP Renwood Wells and Deputy FNM Leader Peter Turnquest, represented the majority of the caucus who withdrew their confidence in Dr. Minnis. The MPs also informed that a new leader had been voted on. Our caucus has also voted to undertake its work in Parliament under the leadership of Loretta Butler Turner. Minnis said that the announcement came as a surprise despite months of internal party conflict with him as leader. These, okay, as I would call, rebels, Yes. rebels will not believe in democracy yes. oh, and will continue to subvert <laughs> the process of democracy. If we have individuals like we see here today, if the results are not what they intend it to be or what they want, then we could be headed towards an undemocratic society and possibly one of dictatorship. Now the internal party fighting in the Free National Movement has been brewing for quite some time, but according to South and Central Abaco MP Edison Key, the issue reached its boiling point when he did not receive the party's nomination. I have a right to change my mind. I'm human. Did you inform them that you were changing your mind and would like to continue to run? Of course I did. I, I not only informed them, I informed the... I, inf I informed... Dr. Menace, he knew I was running, and he was telling everybody, no, Eddie, call me Eddie, Eddie's a man, but because I was the only person who stood by him. He feels with Butler Turner as leader, the party stands a fighting chance to win the next general election. He's more qualified, and um, I, I went against them when, when they decided to, for Loretta to send the letter to the Governor General before. It was only because of the lack of my signature why it didn't go. So now they've treated me like a dog, an outsider. Now, according to House Speaker Dr. Kendall Major, this does not become official until a response is given from the Governor General. From Parliament, I'm Janaina Noel Ferguson, ZNES Network News.